say how doing? Okay, so today I'm coming at you with an updated review on this super cute vintage crossbody. It is the, it is the, it is the Musette Salsa GM. Super cute. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the dimensions. Um, it is, okay, so as you can see it kind of tapers a little bit. So at the bottom it is 12 inches wide. At the top it's 10 inches wide. It is 13 inches tall and the depth is a little hard to calculate just because it's kind of that envelope style bag, you know, like it does have like a gusset right here, but it's it's more of an envelope style. It's just, that's just what they call it. So I just kind of measure like from the tip of it to the tip of it just when it's sitting down. And so it's about four inches. I mean, you're you're it's a it's a quite roomy bag. Um, and it does have an adjustable strap right now. It's on the shortest setting. And then I'll take it down and show you what it's like on the longest setting. So right now this would be like a shoulder, a shoulder carry. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, yeah. So this, oh yeah, this is cute. Okay, so I'm 5'6", okay? And so again, this is just a, on the shortest um, setting. And so this is super cute for um, shoulder carry. And so then the opening is, you know, a big, it's a big, it's, this is a big flap, okay? I'm not gonna lie. It would be nice if there was like an outside pocket or something. There's not, but you know, kind of like the Odeon back here, how it has that outside pocket. It would be nice if there was, because it'd make it a little more convenient to get into, like throw your keys or your phone or whatever. Um, but unfortunately it doesn't have one. It just has, the only opening has just this big flap. And so if, you, if you're if you holding it, um, you know, if you're, you, if you're carrying it on your shoulder, then you can do this and then you can get into it. Okay, and I guess if you're doing it crossbody, same way. So I would just say maybe adjust the crossbody strap or the strap so that you can hold it open with your chin. Otherwise, you might be a little frustrated to get in the back. But um, so you'd have to hold it like this, okay? And that way you can have, you know, use both hands. But if you don't necessarily have to do that, then you can still hold it up with the one hand and you can get down in it. And it does have the, um, you've seen this, it's kind of that, what's that color? It's almost like a, caramely gold color interior and I think it's the Alcantara but I'm not exactly sure if it's you know how the artsy has the uh, that kind of lighter it looks like microfiber I, th I think it's not that color obviously but I think it's the same type of um, fabric I'm not exactly sure okay it does have a d-ring which is a must really for this bag because again it's if you're gonna be getting into it with just this one flap you're gonna want to have your keys somewhat convenient now even though it doesn't have an outside you know pocket on the front of the back it does have these two interior okay you can't dang see anything you can't it does have these two interior pockets so it has this one okay and then it has the smaller cell phone pocket now I like to use the smaller cell phone pocket for a sanitizer because if it's perfectly in there to me that's something that I you know use quite a bit with the kids and everything I'm always wanting to find it and so I used to carry it just like in my little you know pochette but that was kind of more steps to get to so if it has these pockets I like that I like you know just having it right here and then you can just put your phone you know right here and I actually brought um, I'm up here at our shop because I love the lighting up here and I brought the extra phone so I can show you how it fits. It's an iPhone 6, and now, of course, I can't, oh, here it is. Okay, sorry. iPhone 6, and I'm not actually sure if this is just a 6, 6S, 6 Plus. I don't know. Nobody in my house knows, even though my daughter has some sort of 6. Anyway, nobody knows, but it is big. To me, it's big, but of course, I have a 5, so I mean, everything's big to me. So it'll fit, okay, so up and down. Now, it is going to stick out. You can see. It's not going to fit side to side. But you know what? Again, if you ha at least there's some sort of pocket that's convenient for your phone, so you can still stick your phone. Whatever you know, and even if it sticks out, it's fine. It's not going to interfere with the flap covering or anything like that. And again, you've got your you've got your D ring. And so I am carrying. Uh, well, the keys I have today don't have my little clip, but I normally have my main set of keys has a little clip, and so it's convenient because I just stick it on this, and then I'm good to go. Um, okay, so I just want to show you kind of what it'll fit, just like what the things that I normally carry. So I always carry my accessory pochette. And um, one thing about this bag, which is going to be similar to my Marceau that you can't see, it's down there, which is my favorite crossbody bag. You've probably seen my video on that. It's a, an awesome, awesome vintage crossbody bag. Um, but you have to stack stuff up like this, 
okay? You're not going to have enough room to, like, stack everything side by side. So, that's okay. I mean, I have to do that in, in my Marceau. Everything has, like, an assigned spot, um, which, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes that, to me, is is a good thing because I, I normally carry totes or, like, hobo bags, bigger bags, and so everything just kind of jumbles around. So, sometimes it's kind of a, a breath of fresh air to have assigned spots and kind of, like, know where everything is. So, anyway, okay, so here's my accessory pochette, and I'm just going to put it up and down, like I said. And then I also have my uh, mid-size pochette. This is not one that you can buy. It came with some other bag, like probably a bucket bag. It's not the mini, and it's not the accessory, so it's just in between. And so I'm going to put it, like, right in front, okay? And then my Zippy wallet in the vernis, and it'll actually go over on the other side. Whoops. Now, you know, if you're not really a big wallet carrying gal, then you could downsize to like something like this, which is the kiss lock. And you're gonna, you know, free up a lot of space by carrying something like this. But I like, you know, everything to me is, is fine. It's, it's stacked up and down or placed up and down. And then I have my pin case. And so I can just put that over on the side. Um, it's not gonna fit, well, let's see. Okay, so you know how I have my big calendar? I actually don't know. Now I do have a review on this bag that I did a long time ago. And I didn't have this calendar, obviously, so I don't, it's not going to be in that video. Okay, it will fit. See? It actually would just fit. That's what I do with my Marceau. This is very similar to my Marceau, except for the shape. The Marceau is pretty boxy, and so this one is, you know, has more of a feminine look. I mean, you, I've said in my Marceau video, it's a very, like, utility-looking bag. Um, originally, it was from their luggage line, and so it's not going to be that, you know, super feminine. You know, it's not going to look like that. It's just like, it's like an all-business boss bag. Hmm, okay? Okay, and so what else do I have? Oh, so I have my, um, this little handmade thing that has Kleenexes in it. And I'm probably just going to put this up here with the phone, just because I like, you know, I need to get to that quickly. Um, but I could shove it, like, on one of the sides or something. And really, that's that's all. I mean, I have this little case that has my earbuds, a uh, you know adapter for the car to plug in my phone, and then also I usually have an extra cord wrapped up and kept in there. And then I also have been carrying around a little battery pack. This is like my newest thing. Newest thing for 2018, for summer 2018, is carrying around a battery pack. And I don't actually carry one. I carry two. <laughs> this one obviously is quite a bit chunkier, so it's kind of like my backup backup, you know what I'm saying? But this will fit, you know what, and this actually would fit perfect in that little cell phone size pocket anyway. Or along with, not anyway, along with the, uh, okay, I say that. You know what, yeah, it'll stick out, but it's fine. Okay, who cares? Okay, I like, I don't like the way it's, be, it's not fitting in there together well. So I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to put my battery pack in there because if I'm going to carry this bag, that's that's better. That's a better place for this. I usually keep it charged up and I keep it in my accessory pochette. But um, I'm, I just obviously had to do that. So, okay. So, it's all, it's, it's got everything I need in it. It's perfect. And, again, this is what it looks like on the shoulder. And it's, it's really, you know, again, you can access it from your shoulder. You can just, you'll need to use one hand to hold open the, the flap. Um, oh, there is no like magnetic strap or magnetic uh, closure or buckle or snap or anything. It just goes over. So, you know, if you're, and there's no zipper or anything, it's just open. But I feel like this is a pretty secure bag just because the flap is so big. Um, you know, it's, it's not, I don't know. To me, that's, that's the security measure is the fact that it's so big. So, yeah, you can get to everything, and, you know, your phone is right here in the back. And then, you know, you got your keys over here on the D-ring. Or if you don't have a, if you don't use the D-ring, you can also put them in that pocket with your cell phone. And then, you know, whatever you decide to put in your little, uh, the old cell phone pocket in here. And so, yeah, this bag is just, it's nice and roomy. It's, I, I think there's two other sizes. Uh, one of them is the, uh, well, just the Musette, I guess. No, Musette Tango. And then we set salsa, but um, they're both smaller, like quite a bit smaller, and they are not cross bodies. Although one of them does come with a long body strap, I mean a long strap option. Um, I'm getting that in soon, actually. But anyway, this is the biggest one, and it's again, it's nice and roomy. Oh, so let me put it. Let me change the uh, buckle here, and I'm going to show you what it looks like 
on, there's several options too. So I feel like you can, no matter what your height is, I had a couple of these bags when I was doing this Christmas show last year locally, and the two gals that bought them were tall. They were tall gals. And they, and they were gals that were originally looking at the Odeon, but um, I think I had sold out of it, or so, I don't remember what the deal was. But um, this wasn't a bag that they, that they, I guess they'd seen it, but they weren't really drawn to it. But once they saw it in person, they were like, oh yeah, I kind of like that bag. And it looked, it looked really good on them, you know, like with their body style and just the fact that they were tall. Not that you can't, you know, use this if you're shorter. Obviously it's got several, oh, let me tell you, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it has nine holes. So there's obviously lots of room. I'm just going to do it on three. Normally I do it on the bottom because I'm 5'6", so I feel like I'm a little bit taller, but since this has nine options, because normally it seems like there's only six, but this one, since it has more, then it has two little belt, you know, belts to keep your strap um, secure. And then, oops, okay, so let me get up here. Oh, this is cute. Isn't this cute? Yeah, this is perfect. Look, I like this a lot. Okay, so yeah, here you go. Now, I do want to tell you, since this bag is older, um, you, you're most likely going to see, you know, that it's lost its original shape. I would imagine that as you're using it and you're in your, you know, the, the, the bag is being um, preserved in your house, in your own climate, that it's going to go back and it's going to be fine. But I think that sometimes on these vintage bags, just like depending on how they were stored and everything, um, that can just create, you know, they'll kind of roll up. But I don't know. I actually don't know for sure. I mean, I can't sit here and tell you for sure that they're going to, you know, they're going to go back to what, the way they were. Probably not. I mean, it is a vintage bag. So, um, as long as you're okay with that, then, you know, you're fine. You probably maybe didn't even notice it until I brought it up. But look, if I, if I stand like this, you can kind of see how it flips out. But I, I personally, I don't think it's a big deal. But, you know, there's so many people that are so dang nitpicky with every single little thing on their bag. And sometimes I'm just like, oh, it's fine. <laughs> I guess just because I'm so used to always telling my kids, it's fine. Um, yeah, so there you go. This is an updated review on the Musette Salsa. Um, I don't think I left anything out, but you might want to go to my channel and check out the original video I did, which again is probably about a year old or so, and um, see, you know, just check out both of them. But this is a great option uh, for crossbody. Nice and, you know, got a feminine silhouette and um, super cute. So I hope this was helpful, and I'll talk to you all real soon. Okay, bye!